right, welcome back guys to Living Live Daily with Jay here. I just want to take the time to say thank y'all. Thank y'all. I can't say it enough for y'all riding with me on this. This is 2024, a brand new year. And I just want to say thank you for y'all subscribing, liking, and commenting. You know, special comments, you know, just taking the time to comment on my video. You know, I thank y'all. I love y'all for that. But like I said, I want to show y'all around more. I want to get out there and do more things, see new stuff, and just make this year a great year. And for the ones that haven't subscribed to this family, you know, hit that like and subscribe button. You know, when you're watching it on your phone or you're at home relaxing on the big screen, you know, hey, slide back over there and hit that subscribe button. Follow me. I got big things coming. I got a lot of projects I'm working on. Speaking of that, I got one. I'm, I'm not gonna spoil it for you. you got to Hey, hey, hey! I like to slip, but um, hey guys, I just want to say thank you. I'm headed to the water, and I'm, I just can't thank you enough for everything y'all are doing for me. Y'all are riding with me. Let's go. Guys, we made it. We made it out here in the water. We out here at three miles over here on Dog Island. Try to bring in a 2024 right the right way. Little fish. Cut this guy for you. This guy for you. Cut me. Little fish, guys. First one of the day. Be warming up today. Other one, too small to keep up. Okay. Fish. Second one of the day. Pretty little guy. Alright, we're gonna send this one back. Alright guys, I got another sea bass. We didn't have my camera on, but thought I did but I didn't but end up hicking up on another one check it out right there guys look at the colors on it pretty colors on that guy right there that is what I'm talking about hooked up on another one check that out kind of mind yo that mahi mahi huh but um the colors on it Awesome fish. We're going to measure them up, make sure he's ready, but I'm pretty sure he is. About 11 and a half, almost 12. Legal. Going in the box. So you check this one right here. Might be hooked up again. Get this guy right there. Oh, yeah. Hooked up, guys. Hooked up, guys, again. Ooh, come on check it out there he is check it out another one another one out here slaying them up right now yeah dog island out here roughing them up another keeper another keeper not even playing with them right now that's what we come out here for awesome way 2024 hey it's coming along perfect check it out right there right there 
all day, probably about 11. Good, going in the box. All right, going back out there with this one. And like I say, on this one right here, guys, I just got a piece of that, um, just got a piece of that little fish on there. And they seem to be loving it, so, hey, it ain't broke, don't fix it. So, going back out there with that. All right. Awesome day, guys. Awesome day. Good, great day, too. And like I say, this is all I was using right here it was just i just started cutting up that little fish and just using it for bait and it's working well so far oh yeah it's on it's on it's on check it out <laughs> so hey Oh, as he fall off in the boat. Hey, I hope good though. Got this back. And it's what I came up with. Another one. Another one. Another one gone in the cooler. All right, guys, it's getting late. Sun is going down. We got about a 45 minute ride back to the dock. So we're going to get everything tied down, get everything ready to go. Awesome day out here on the water. But like I say, we'll see you back at the dock. Welcome back to Living Live Daily with Jay. It's back. Actually, it's the next day. We got home, cleaned everything up, and it was just late. We was tired. A long day out in the water and everything, but a new day. And what I have here is I have the sea bass that I was telling you about. Check it out right there. Actually, ended up catching seven of these. And I can say all along was legal and all um, could have to be 10 inches. So, but what I got something nice prepared for y'all today. Let's go begin in for laying them up, showing you how I'm going to lay them. And um, I'm going to jump right in with this dish, guys. Just a little meal that I'm going to just prepare for myself. And um, just some sea, sea bass, potatoes, and some of those hot and honey rosemary carrots. So, I'm going to make some of those for y'all today so hey like i say you're riding with me it don't go nowhere so what i have right here still i have another one of my cast king knives i have one of them right here this is a seven inch right here and i also have the nine inch which has been awesome 
and I got a shorter one for the smaller fish. Just like to say this is a seven inch cast king right here. So awesome knife right here. This knife is legit awesome. But like I said, I'm gonna dive right in with the sea bass guys and get them all laid up for you. And just like any other regular fish that I'll be dealing with, just go right behind. Give me Give me a better angle. Go down like that, like right there. Actually, this one right here got a little head meat on him. So, like I say, be careful now. Listen. Take your time. Ride that backbone. All the way down until you get around to about the tail, then you can come out. Then you just slide it right along that backbone, just like that. And you just work your knife. Take your time. Just lift the meat up as you go. Just lift, cut, and lift. They all take your time. Let's throw that rib cage. You hear it snapping. Just cut and lift. Just like that. There you go. Just, just cut and lift. Go angle your knife down a little bit. Then cutting and lifting. Check it out. Just like that. That's what you want. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to come around just like this. I can say this guy got a little head meat on him. He got like a whole bull. Okay. So like I say, just take your time. Hold that back, bro. Like I say, guys, it was an awesome day out there. They had lots of fun. Kind of slow at first, getting out there. And, uh, but once we got out there, um, got over to a, a couple of spots over there. Everything started to pick up, so like I said, it got kind of slow at first. But when we was out there, everything was bouncing around. We moved around a couple times trying to find it on my GPS and stuff. So we ran here, we ran there, and we was kind of worried. So because we didn't want to start 2024 off with a loss, you know, like they say, what you come in doing, what you be doing all year. So we didn't want to start it off with a loss. So. I moved around and moved around, anchored up, and um, just sat there for a while. And after a while, they, the bites turned on, and I tore them up. Let me tell you, I tore them up. Had some real strong, nice hits, but they got off. But nevertheless, it was great, so. Get all of them. Just like that. But to start off by just for laying the meat off, you know, just... I like just bringing it to the edge, taking me a little bit, it's a little, something to hold on to. Just like if I wanted to hold on to that, I could. And just, just take your knife, lift up. And these fish right here, let's say you don't get much off these little fillets, but it'll be perfect for what I got to do with. And um, they don't have no bloodline, so but these fish will not be fishy tasting at all because they don't have no bloodline so you get nothing but just clear like most fish like catfish and stuff like that mullet and all those fish they would have a a, a big bloodline so mahi and all that stuff grouper and stuff not as bad but they will have some bloodline but that's just how you do it right there on that filet gang guy. Mm -hmm. Well, guys, like I say, it was a great day. End up, as we were heading back in, man, we ran across a big part of dolphins just hanging out. And I think we probably seen three or four different sets of dolphin paws. And each paw may, may have had about five to six dolphins in their little own little hangout spot and man that was just awesome you see that many dolphins out there you know um, that was awesome all right man. so there we go guys like i say what you do with just the skin guys if you um haven't subscribed to this family yet guys go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button because you don't want to miss none of this 24 gonna be a great year i got some new stuff coming 
I got great plans, great ideas, you know, I'm trying to just get out there and do all of it. You know, I got my my clothing I'm trying to come out with. I know y'all can see that, check that out. I'm tell me what y'all think about that. Leave me a comment below what you think about that. My one of my subscribers said, you know, when I'm scaling them, you know, put them in the water. So and then you won't have scales flying everywhere and stuff like that. But so same method with the spoon and everything. And I uh, like I say, same method, but I'm just gonna go under the water just like this right here and and you know get get a try so and um you know always here to learn new things try new things guy like i said we always learning and growing and like i say but actually doing pretty good like i say scales not flying everywhere so like i say in the water so do both sides and nobody and like a scale in their food so you know, like I say okay uh -huh. Uh -huh. not going too bad not doing bad at all we'll see what the results will be when I get the um get done with it but it's going pretty good so I say you definitely don't like scales everywhere and this if you like this way guys try it like I say, one of my subscribers told me, you know, if I do it this way, I wouldn't get the scales everywhere. So, do it under the water, under the sea. Well, it's fresh water, but okay. All right. Okay. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Yeah, I like it. I like it. As you can see, if you can look down there, all the scales at the bottom. Okay, on with the next one. All right, so like I said, the only thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna just gut them and uh, go right up in there. And I'll uh, put that knife where I cut it. Ooh, little collarbone. Uh -huh, so. Big knife right there. Get in there and get all the guts up out of here. Pull them guts out. I see another gear hiding. Let me get you out of there. All right. That's all you'll be left with right there. One clean one. You know, get all that out of there. All right. Pulling it out. So, I mean, they're 
are ready. Let's take a peek at them. You know. Ready to go sea bass, just like that. I got my fish all ready. Got it here. Got it sitting in there. Then the dry out and everything. Hey, I'm just gonna drain the water off these potatoes right here. Just got some cut up in a little cube. Just gonna drop them in there just like that. And while those cooking, I'm gonna be getting my carrots together. So the jalapeno wildflower honey going into these. Use some of that right there. If you never tried it, that stuff is legit right there. And that's what I'm going to be using right here. And I'm going to use just a drizzle it on just like this. Just like that. And get me some of this rosemary. Rosemary right there. Just go put that all up in there just like that. Just put it all in there. Oh man, rosemary smells good. And to add with that, I'm gonna add some salt, pepper, and some butter. And I have a stick of butter right here. I'm just gonna melt a little of that down. Okay, we got the salt right here. Put a little of that in there. About that much. Pepper going in. Pepper. About that much. Okay. And then we're going to grab our butter. About that much. And um, we have a chicken and a scale of sauce. So all flavors can come together come together get a little tough oh man y'all already know this gonna be good y'all already know what it's gonna be Ooh, look at that right there set them back down in there and we're gonna set our oven guys to 350 just like that Potatoes are already cooking. Mm mm mm. And they get real, y'all, real soon. As you can see, I got my potatoes here. Got them ready. Only thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna smash these. I'm just gonna be adding some uh, some pepper. About that much. Just a little salt. And just take your time with the heavy ripping cream. I already got a little butter at the bottom, as you can see. Just add it as you go. That's what I like to do. I just like to add it as I go. I like to say when you add too much, you can't go back. So I think this is going to be perfect right here, the way this turned out. Consistency you don't want right there. So you don't want it too running. You don't want it too thick. That's perfect right there. Again, you know I want to get a little taste test. So come over here just to make sure. You know, just a okay. I got something for that right here, guys. And I got something for that right there. And you know, just want to take, put it over the top. Add you a little of that right there. That little Goya. Man, that stuff right there. It's a must-have. And you put some of that in there. Let's see. About that much. I'm telling you. Okay, you smell it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Try that for size, guys. All right, that's the game that is ready. I'm gonna set that to the side because it's not gonna take long. And speaking of taking long, I gotta check my carrots. So, all right, we're going in. Oh yeah, they are ready. Mm -hmm. Y'all get back, y'all need to be in there. Check that out. Mm -mm -mm. All right, bring the fish over here. All right.
already got me a little oil in there. And what I'm gonna be doing with that pan in the back is I'm gonna make me a little sauce for my fish. I don't wanna overpower my fish or nothing like that with the seasoning. So what I'm the only thing I'm gonna do is is um, I'm just gonna hit it with a little salt, just like that. Hit it with a little pepper. Close that up while I make a mess. Hit it with a little pepper. Now I'm just gonna put a little of this, just like that, guys. You already know what time it is. That's some of that Seminole Swamp season, guys. Hey, you got, hey, you get yourself some of that. I did a giveaway now, but you know, I'm, I'm telling you that stuff is to go to. So, all right. Fish is going in, guys. Oh, so y'all hear that? Y'all hear that sizzle? Uh huh. I know y'all hear. That's still the guys. It ain't gonna take long. So when I flip, I'm gonna put a little freeze on the other side. But um, this is getting right real soon. Like I'm gonna do, I'm doing my sauce and um, cut that off. All right, guys. I got the pan over here that I'm gonna be starting my little sauce with. Just a little creamy sauce, a little butter sauce that I'm gonna have for my own for my fish. So <clears throat> I got a little butter in there. I'm gonna get these to flip right quick. Oh yeah. See, I'm gonna let them go a little bit long on the other side. I just wanna, when you start to see them get white around the edges like that right there, you know, it's time to flip them, so. So, just swing over here. And I'm just gonna hit it with just a little bit more of that Seminole. About that much. All right, guys, we'll let these ride till they get that nice little sear on the side that I need. So, check that out. Check that out. Mm -hmm. Can y'all smell it? Can smell it? All right. So that's getting right. This getting right. It's all just coming together. All coming together. So now. Like I say, with my sauce in the back right there, I got it. I just, I just move that off just like that, and I can just sit that over here and um, let that go ahead and continue cooking in the back. And I'm just gonna add me some of this little cream here, just like that. Like I said, I just want to get a little sauce from my um, from the fish, guys, just like that. And I want to take some of this right here, just to add in there. So that's gonna get a little kick that I want. So y'all already see where this is going, don't you? Oh, yeah. Mm hmm Just a little soft. That heavy whipping cream. Get that in there. Oh yeah, see y'all already know where that's going. Take that off, let that simmer a little bit, reduce that heat. Take that out. Take that out. That's what you're looking for. All right, guys, we get ready to plate this dish up. You know, come on. Go on in. Mm -hmm. But like I say, first of all, I want to say the blessings. You know, great year coming in, 2024. Just want to say my prayers. Thank you, Lord. For being here, allowing me to see you another day. Thank you, Lord, for blessing this channel. Thank you, Lord, for everything that you are doing for me, Lord. Keeping me strong, keeping me going. I ask you, Lord, to forgive me for my sins. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen, y'all. We're going in with this taste test right here. And I'm going to show you. Going with the fish first, right there. Oh yeah, oh yeah, guys. That that's awesome. That is, if that ain't good, the sun ain't hot. I'm trusting, and you know that sun hot. Oh man, I 
I did it again, guys. <laughs> hey, I did it again. Um, I did it again. I'm telling. Check that out right there. Let me take them carrots out. Listen, guys, I can't tell you enough. Hold on for a minute. I can't tell you enough how thankful I am for y'all to be right along with me on this channel. You know, giving me thumbs up, giving them positive comments. You know, the positive comments what keep me going. And y'all loving and riding with this channel, guys. Like I say, I'm going to leave everything about this in the description below. If you'd like to see me do anything for 2024, you know, leave it in the description below, guys. But like I say, guys, that's all I got for you today. I'm going to sit here and enjoy this and just be glad to be doing it, guys. Like I say, that's all I got for you right now, but I will definitely see you in the next. Mm -hmm.